Cayucas Elementary is exploring new options for students once they graduate eighth grade. KSBY News reporter Angel Russell joins us now live in Cayucas. Angel, what happens now? Well, Dan, Cayucas doesn't have a high school, so right now, by state law, all their eighth graders, once they graduate, go to Coast Union High School in Cambria. Well, the thing is, most parents aren't doing that, and instead, they're transferring their students to Morro Bay High School. Why is that a problem? Because the money doesn't follow along with them. And who's been picking up the tag? The San Luis Obispo Unified School District. And while their generosity may soon be coming to an end. Once eighth graders graduate Cayucas Elementary, property tax funds pay for them to attend Coast Union High School in Cambria. The problem, very few Cayucas kids actually go there. Last year, Coast Union had, I believe, eight of our students. I believe right now they have five. Meanwhile, 51 Cayucas students transferred into Morro Bay High. Both schools are great schools, um, but definitely proximity um, plays a big role in it. For some parents, it just makes more sense for high school students living in Cayucas to go four miles south to school instead of 15 miles north. Well, right now, San Luis Coastal has been doing a great job of opening their doors to Cayucas high school students. A great job, especially since the district takes those students in as a favor. They have been doing it without receiving any um, tax revenues. Um, for those students, so at this point, they're basically educating Cayucas High School students for free. San Luis Coastal Unified School District spends 12,000 on each Cayucas student that attends Morro Bay High, and the Cayucas Elementary School District realizes that favor may soon be coming to an end. Right now, um, you know, just the main concern is that they're facing a downturn in revenues due to Diablo Canyon closing. So Cayucas is hoping to find a solution before that happens and we'll look into options before time runs out. Cayucas Elementary School District will be discussing and presenting those options during a special meeting on Wednesday at 6 o'clock right here at the elementary school and parents you're encouraged to attend. Live and local in Cayucas, I'm Angel Russell for KSBY News. Thank you Angel. San Luis Coastal Unified School District says it will see what options the Cayucas School District comes up with and for now will continue to allow Cayucas students into its schools.